the Superbike. It's a production bike designed for people like you and I to enjoy riding as fast as possible. But what about the next level up? I'm talking custom made race machines designed for the world's best athletes to race world and Olympic championships. This is the Hope Lotus Olympic bike, ridden by Team GB in the Tokyo Olympics. And that's why I've come here to Derby Velodrome, almost slap bang in the middle of the UK, to see just how fast the bike is compared to this, the Velodrome hire bike. to call in a few favours today to get access to this bike so thanks to British Cycling for helping us out yet as incredible and high tech as this bike is still needs a rider and seeing as I'm not quite at the same level of fitness and ability as the Olympic athletes that ride the bikes I've had to call in my second favour in the form of ex-teammate and old friend of mine Ollie Wood oh and uh, he's also multi-time European and world championship medalist all right Morning. How's it going, man? You good? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Nice of you to join us today. Yeah, lovely. Right, lovely um, bright and early. First things first, introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, my name's Ollie Wood. I'm a GB track rider and a with Sun God rider on the road too. Fantastic. Okay, so the plan today is to use Ollie's amazing strength and fitness to answer a simple question. Just how much faster is one of the most high-tech bikes in the world compared to the most bargain bucket bike? a velodrome hire bike, one which deserves a better life and I can probably safely say has never seen the sort of speeds Ollie's going to ride it at today. So it's just me riding the bikes today, is it? Yeah, yeah. You're not that long retired, you'd be, you'd be fine. You're not that slow. Well, um, <laughs> to be fair, the powers that be at British Cycling said uh, I'm not allowed to ride it in case I crash because I might break it. And well, you can't exactly buy one of these down in your local bike shop, can you? Yeah, they're not in uh, not in everyday bike shops, I'm afraid. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, right, to the test. So Ollie is gonna ride the Velodrome hire bike as fast as he can for a one kilometer time trial. So that's four laps of our 250 meter Velodrome. Well then, we're gonna let you have a little rest, sit down, put your legs up. We're gonna repeat the same test, but on the Hope Lotus Olympic bike, purely, trying to go as fast as possible and both for the bikes. Right, first up, hire bike. Off you go. Thank you very much. You go get kitted up, old friend. Shall do. While Ollie's getting kitted up, let me tell you a little bit more about this bike. It's a fusion of carbon fiber and 3D printed titanium, and it's a collaboration between British Cycling, Hope, and Lotus. If you want to know a bit more about the bike and the backstory behind it and how this is the design they ended up with, we've got an in-depth documentary over on GCN Plus. I highly recommend checking it out after watching this video. When it comes to racing, either in the velodrome or out on the road, Ollie's got quite the palmares and has racked up numerous victories and plenty of podiums. But that's enough about him. Let's get on the track. Right, I'm as warmed up as I'll ever be for this, so let's get this thing going. Right, you ready? Yep. Right. Whoa, off he goes, come on! Oh, he's a face. <laughs> come on, up, 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 up. Right, bell lap. Right? How was that? <laughs> Awful. Quite unfamiliar to be honest, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I've got your time saved on the phone. Um, go get your feet up, I guess. Switch to the other bike. Yeah, I can't right. wait. <laughs> now, I did promise Ollie he could have a rest in between his efforts. So at the moment, he's over there with his feet up. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to shoot another video covering all of the details and the tech features of this bike. So if that's your cup of tea, head over to the GCN Tech channel and check that out. Right, I better go wake Ollie up. Ollie, come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> um, you good? Yeah, yeah. Just Rested, recovered? Just quick, early morning, so you know. Yeah, I guess part of the normal routine, isn't it? Yeah, you right. get naps in where you can. Let's get this thing in the start gate. Right, we good? Yeah. Let's do it. Guys. 
quick. All right. Oh. Enjoy that one. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> um, I guess we should wrap up the results, shall we? Yeah. All right, I'll let you catch your breath. We'll do that. Right, crunch time on the numbers, Ollie. So first time round out on the um, Velodrome hire bike, a uh, time of 1 minute 21.6, which I'm going to say, you know, that's pretty reasonable. It's probably the fastest this bike's gone round the Velodrome. Yeah, maybe yeah. over four laps. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like to, no, well, I wouldn't like to think so. Yeah. Okay, right, so on the Hope Lotus Olympic bike, second time round, you'd had your little rest, you had your feet up. How do you think you did on that? Do you feel confident in your performance? Yeah, I think maybe two to three seconds because obviously that's, I mean, it's the frame's entry difference, level. but it's, it's the whole package, it's wheels, tyres, obviously the position will be different, so. Yeah. So I mean, look how narrow those bars are compared to these, that's crazy. Yeah, there's quite a big difference there. So you reckon obviously. a couple of seconds? Yeah, at least. Okay, right, well, I can reveal your time now. So on the Hope Lotus Olympic bike, you did 1 minute 17.59. So what's that? Uh, well, it's almost bang on four seconds. That's, that's twice the amount you'd estimated. Yeah. I what mean, do you think of that then? Yeah, I mean, you, you would expect so. Yeah. Having spent them this much money on a, on a machine, but I mean, that's the difference between, I guess, something to just get you on the track and get you started, or someone who's literally just doing it for the fun of it, which is, I guess, what it's all about at the end of the day, compared to a full race machine. Especially over like a short distance, four seconds over just over a minute's effort that's yeah. massive in like percentage terms it, i guess that would add up especially over sort of a bunch of races over 40 yeah. or 60 laps say fair okay right all that's left for me to say is ollie thanks very much you've been amazing you've been incredible you rode at speed um well i guess you can crack on with your normal training session now thank you very much warmed up nicely right yeah. see you in a bit cheers everyone